want our Chelsea back. We want our Chelsea back. We want our Chelsea back. We want our Chelsea back. That's how Chelsea supporters chanted after they went behind 2-1 in the 73rd minute against Fulham at the Craven Cottage on Thursday evening. The disappointing performance from Graham Potter's men once more saw them register a fourth defeat in their last five matches. The Blues got in the back foot 25 minutes into the match after their former winger, Willian, struck his trademark clinical ball from the edge of the box. The shot deflected off Trevor Chaloba to fly past the often static Kepa into the bottom right corner. Chelsea kicked off the second half on a high note and leveled the game two minutes in after Kaladu Kalabili scrabbled the ball over the line from Leno's unconvincing parry of Mason Mount's wicked free kick into the near post. Chelsea's promising start was however cut short ten minutes later when their new forward Joao Felix was shown a straight red card following a reckless studs-up challenge on Kenny Tett. It was a huge blow to the Blues because Felix had been their best player and needed a miracle to beat the passionate Fulham while a man down. The sluggish visitors were punished in the 73rd minute when the Cottagers took advantage of their extra man. Carlos Vinicius rose the highest to beat Trevor Choloba and Nan and Andres Pereira's brilliant cross ball past the helpless caper and into the near post. It was the first time in 10 years that Chelsea lost to Fulham. And as the fans continued to express their frustrations with the dreadful form, Potter's men remained 10th in the log after 18 matches and 10 points outside the top four. The defeat in the West London Derby was their seventh this season, which is already more than their six losses in the whole of the 2021-2022 campaign. Mired in an injury crisis, poor form, and underwater confidence levels, Chelsea's hopes of a top-six finish are gradually flickering out.